Hi, family. It's me, it's Ange. I'm looking forward to our next family art date so much and really appreciated that you watched the video on creating a sigil and thank you for your feedback about it. I'm Just glad to you make enjoyed the it. most of the time that we have together. I wanted to make a video showing you how I incorporate sigils into artwork that I'm doing. And so I took a sigil that I made with an intention for our family and worked it into a flower, my flower in our family painting. I thought that for you to see me putting my sigil into my flower might just spark your interest and um, get your imagination wetted for the process. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and let me know. Let me know if there's something that was unclear or if you need to, if you need me to review anything when we're together. All right, looking forward to it. Bye you guys. So I'm going to start with drawing a sigil of the intention, we belong. I apologize, this video somehow got turned on its side and I don't know how to turn it the other way. But this will just be a little refresher on drawing a sigil. You see, I've identified, I've crossed out the vowels. I've identified the letters I'll be using. I like rounded letters, so I made this a cursive B. And then I cross out my B. Now I'm working on the W. And here's my W. Crossing out the W. Here I'm showing you that the L is part of the loop of the B. And now I'm writing my N. And lastly, I'm thinking about where to incorporate my G. And there we have it. I'm gonna just touch it up a little bit. This is my sigil for our family painting. So now we will turn our attention to the painting itself and I'll show you how I'm going to incorporate it. So here we have our family painting. I'm going to zoom in here to my flower. I'm just posting the sigil temporarily next to my flower so that I can see the sigil as I'm incorporating it into the painting. Now I'm using a black paint pen, mostly because I wanted you to be able to see the lines on this recording. If I were just working on my own, I might just use a pencil or something lighter, but I'll paint over it later, so I'm not concerned about it. Because of the shape of my flower, I decided to put the sigil right in the center. If your sigil, if your flower isn't circular, you can tuck your sigil in wherever you want it to be. Here, I think. Mm 
I started to draw the G the wrong way. And I'll go back and correct that in a moment. Because it's water-based paint, I can kind of smudge it pretty easily with my finger. So I remembered this was the way I did the G. So you'll notice that right now it's a little bit hard to even see the sigil in the backdrop of the painting. And I'll be pulling out some of the shapes with color, but it's actually okay if the shape of the sigil isn't perfectly clear in the painting. As I've commented before, when sigils are kind of um, in our awareness, but not fully in our conscious awareness, they seem to have the most power. This is um, taken advantage of in many advertisements, as I'm sure you know. I am using watercolor paint, but I will be mixing it with a matte medium. I'm basically using it for the pigment um, because I liked the colors that I had in watercolor and they were the easiest to work with in terms of mixing my glaze. And I don't always do this, but I thought I would try it out. I've used it before in the past, mixing watercolor with an acrylic glaze, and it seems like the acrylic glaze um, can pick up the pigment from the watercolor pretty well. So I'm going to just let the video speed up here a little bit and you can watch as I just intuitively add color and see what kind of um, dimensions and shades this flower wants to be. I'll be back with you in a bit.
one of the things that I'm really enjoying as I paint this flower is seeing the layers of what's underneath what I'm painting. Um, I'm remembering when mom collaged in this quote, the words of which are still visible in the top petals, and Sadie did some of the purple designs, I think, in the middle. And um, I see other bits of things that you all did. And I'm just appreciating leaving a lot of that to peek through and show kind of the richness underneath the very simple shape. That's why I've chosen to do a glaze instead of opaque color so that I can show that anything I can add to the painting is really its value in large part is because of the richness of what you all put before. Something that I particularly like about this in a family painting because I think nothing that any one of us creates is ever completely separate from the influence and the layers that have gone before us by other family members. So I'm thinking about that and appreciating it as I paint and really enjoying the richness and the, um, the kind of complexity, the dimensionality that um, is given this because of the, the collage underneath. Okay, I'm gonna pan out here so you can see my flower in the context of the painting. Look at all the layers that we have put in over the months. Maybe you can start to imagine where you'll add your sigils. You can add sigils to flowers. I also thought we might try adding them to the background. Just appreciating all the parts of our lives, all of our sentiments, thoughts, memories that have gone into this piece. Well, I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. I've loved making it for you, and I very much look forward to seeing how you incorporate sigils into your flowers and into our background next time. I'm really loving this process with you. I hope you're doing really well. Take care. Enjoy creating. Mm -hmm.